and we wavy, baby. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Much love and appreciation as always. But if you're new here, though, my name is Hayes, veterinarian, sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Back again, once again, with everybody's favorite rabbit here, sneakers. On today's video, we're going over two recent pickups of mine. First, one of my favorite brands out there, New York based Emily Ondor, as well as this is actually my first pickup from Mischief, and I don't really have too much information about them, to be honest. I know they have a pretty a pretty good history of a lot of controversial releases the one in particular that i'm thinking about is the nas the little nas x ones uh the one with like the little like red dye and the, the whole 666 thing and everything like that but essentially they have like a lot of wild concepts on a lot of common silhouettes this one right here coming in the form of fans they did a collaboration with the rapper tyga and made the wavy babies we're just gonna call them the waves just for short because i don't yeah, I'm not gonna continue saying wavy baby all over again. But with that being said, I'm gonna turn sneakers around because that's rude, sir. We cannot be rude to the audience. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this polo first. Because between the two, this is what I'm more excited about to be straightforward about. It. So what is this? This is a knitted polo. I got straight off of the website, Amy Leon Door. This was a pretty hyped shirt. The brand sold out very, very quickly, especially in the extra small size, which I was going for, even though I had E8 early release. I mean, these sold out like this for the extra small and I had to, I guess, somewhat settle for a small size. And the reason I wanted the extra small is a lot of times ALD, they are slightly, ever so slightly oversized. And I do like that, you know, form fitting snug fit of the extra smalls, at least on me. But the small isn't really that bad. And for my dimensions, I am about five foot six. And we'll say, but uh, when was the last time I weighed myself? I'm like 137, 138 pounds, a uh, very slim build, just as an FYI, okay? So, why do I like this polo? Uh, first and foremost, it is the knit pattern on here. It's like a knit waffle pattern. And it is, it's not really fully transparent, but of course, up close, you can kind of see through it because, yeah, I mean, you see all the little holes in through here. If you look closely through it, you can kind of see my hanger peeking through it. So, if you do have a shirt underneath it, if you have it in a contrast color, let's say a black you will be able to see that pretty clearly uh through this shirt i'm not gonna wear it like that because that to me defeats the purpose of it you do have a collar up here and what i also like about this is the minimalism of the v-neck right here there is not one button whatsoever so this is a really good even though it's a i say it's like a medium weight cotton material uh, but even so it's obviously very breathable but this collar right here there's no buttons or anything like that so it's always going to be open so the point i'm trying to get at is is a perfect summer shirt okay maybe even maybe even like early fall but Potentially depending on where you are. I know I hear in a desert, it's gonna be just fine for me. As far as other details on the shirt, you do have a ribbed cuff at the end of the sleeves, as well as the bottom of the hem down here too as well. I think it's overall just a really, really cool shirt. It is in a white color, but it does seem like it's a little bit faded, a little bit of a vintage look. And so therefore how I styled it right here, I just went with a pair of Ruben Cohn cargo pants uh, because I think the wash of this green looks a little bit vintage too as well. So we kind of have that vintage look going on. The age look going on and then of course down at the bottom we ended with the Amy Leon door New Balance 650 R's in the green color you have green obviously kind of coordinating with the green pants not the exact shade of green but I think it mixes well okay and then also with the shoe you have that cream color which I think coordinates with the kind of off-white creamish kind of tone to this white if you will so a lot of different things coordinating the shoes you know having that green with this and the white with this overall though i think it's a really good look and the whole theme of it is kind of like an aged vintage look that is what this shirt kind of represents to me and i really really like that so with the shirt out of the way let's go ahead and get into this bad boy right here so this is the mischief in collaboration with tyga don't eat the box with mischief at tyga uh for the waves okay so or the wavy babies that's the last time i say that but anyways opening up the box mine actually unfortunately kind of ripped a little bit you can see in the b-roll but yes cardboard box you flip open you do get a card in here mischief shoes and i'm going to bring out one of them because they are symmetrical but yes indeed here we are the waves now these shoes are huge 
I'm just gonna start out with that. These are a lot bigger and a lot heavier in person, all right? Um, these are some really big shoes. I know typically I do sizing a little bit later, but I'm just gonna let you guys know that if you are gonna get these, I would probably go down half a size from your true size. That's what I did. They fit great. Um, I think going my true to size, oh, they had whole sizes. Technically, I'd have to go up to a size 10. I know a size 10 on me would be huge for these. So yeah, I'd recommend going down half a size. Anyways, though, you can see the obvious call outs to the traditional band shoe right here. Everything from the upper, the, you know, where the little, you know, line for Vans will be, obviously it's wave. And then obviously the midsole, the silhouette, the midsole is obviously different. But if you're to flatten this out, straighten out this white line going through here, it will look almost just like a regular regular van. So breaking down this shoe, we got a flat white cotton laces. There's absolutely nothing on the tongue rolling down. When we get down to the toe box, it's kind of like a, kind of like a really rough new buck material running on back to the mid panel of the shoe, of the upper of the shoe, both the lateral and medial aspect have that same, you know, kind of wavy line and leather material. Moving on to the back, both shoes have the wavy, and this looks like, I, and you can see, this is what it looks like on the back. I'm assuming this is a baby. This is a weird looking baby, but you know, I guess it's supposed to be wavy too, so it's, it's just weird, man. <laughs> this shoe is just weird. I, I sometimes ask myself, why did I even get it? And it, it grew on me. It's different. Don't get me wrong. It grew on me and it's different. Uh, but it's just a little gimmicky than me, man. I just, that's just my honest opinion of I know I'm kind of jumping around a little bit with this shoe, but it's really hard for me to talk like too, too much about it. It's polarizing. It's gimmicky. I like it. I hate it. It's just a lot of different things with this shoe. Anyways, moving on with the rest of the shoe, the midsole of the shoe, and I guess technically the outsole is the you know the big parts of the shoe you got that wavy up and down silhouette on the bottom of the shoe there actually is a warning on here because you know things like driving and going upstairs and these shoes because of the wave silhouette I kind of throw you off potentially and it reads warning by placing your foot in the side of the shoe you agree the wave <laughs> Any claims against mischief for any injury, death, or damage arising from having your foot in this shoe by placing your foot in the shoe. You also agree to assume all risk of injury arising from having your foot in this shoe. Uh, yeah, warning, extremely wavy. So yeah, essentially they're just like, yo, if you hurt yourself, die, <laughs> or whatever like that because of these shoes, hey, it ain't on us, you too wavy. I know, I know, lame joke, lame joke. But yeah, anyway, that is pretty much the ins and outs of this shoe for the most part. I mean, the insole in here it's kind of removable it's mostly stuck down in there but you can definitely pry it off uh, you do have mischief and wavy on mischief and taiga uh, and wavy on the insole but you know nothing really too special but yeah everything on here is essentially just taking you know a regular traditional vans uh, you know, make it big and heavy, have that wavy silhouette on here. I mean, even even down to the outsole, like it's, it's, it's pretty much the same, again, aside from the weight and the silhouette and everything like that. As far as how I would style it, well, this isn't a collaboration with Tyga, so I was kind of thinking like, well, you know, how does Tyga like to typically dress? What would he maybe wear with it? I know he has, you know, some outfits on there, but I think I see Tyga as like, having like that real rock star look and approach to a lot of things. So obviously I'm no rock star, but I'll try and kind of make it my own. So I have this shirt here that is made out of like a velvety material. Uh, just kind of playing with textures, which goes down into these gray jeans right here from Amiri. Again, same texture, velvety. So we are kind of playing around again with some textures in the cut. We have like kind of a boxy tee going down to some flared pants, which in the course comes down into these wavy shoes. <laughs> if I had in, in retrospect, I kind of wish I had some more accessories with that I really think if I had more accessories I'd have more of that rock star look to things and kind of pull off what I was really trying to do a little bit better but you guys get the idea you guys can clearly see the waviness of the midsole and the outsole with these shoes yeah I know flared pants was gonna kind of cover up this you know white leather pattern right here but you see the main part of the shoe you need to see but um anyways the point of this is to kind of give you guys another look of how you can potentially style these shoes I know you guys have probably seen these quite a bit on Instagram and maybe even YouTube by now. So I just think, oh, I hope that this is just a new approach on how to style these shoes, you know? But, you know, regardless if you guys like it or not, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And that's gonna be today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you become a client. You do that by hitting my description down below, as well as hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my next video. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram. The handle is in the description box down below. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you on the next video.